Adrenaline is a synthetic nootropic that can potentially boost your energy, your focus, and work as a stimulant. But the question is, does it really work? And is it safe for supplementing? Well, let's find out. Hey, what's up, Greg here from your inception. Welcome to my channel. If you wanna learn top secrets about nootropics, subscribe below to start your journey. Today we're gonna talk about adrenaline. Now, adrenaline was discovered in the 1970s in France by a pharmaceutical company. And since then, lots of research has been done um, on the effects of adrenaline. Now, um, lots of people know that this is a very potentially potent nootropic that can boost your focus or energy. But the question is, does it really work? And should you really supplement it? And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. We're gonna look at the benefits, side effects, recommend dosage, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you if I recommend it or not. So if you're ready, let's just begin. The first thing I wanna mention is that adrenaline is legal for supplementing in the States, but it's not legal in some European countries, in Australia, for example, and in New Zealand. You need a prescription uh, to buy it in those countries. So uh, if you decide on supplementing it, do check uh, the legal status of it in your country, just to be on the safe side. Uh, the second thing is the benefits. So with synthetic nootropics, you can expect some benefits, right? But it's always a question of potential side effects. Um, you know, what's the biggest thing here? What's more important for you? Uh, and are synthetic nootropics uh, safe for the long-term use? And when it comes to adrenal, for example, what you can expect from adrenal to happen is it can boost your focus, uh, it can make you more alert, and it can, of course, boost your energy. Uh, and if you're super tired, you could probably feel the effect if you supplement it. Usually, you can start feeling the effects in about 45 minutes to one hour after uh, taking one to two capsules of this supplement. However, compared to modafinil, which I also reviewed and you can find the video somewhere up there and in the description probably, um, the effects of adrenaline are less potent and less noticeable. So if you compare it to probably modafinil is a stronger version. And you know, um, adrenaline is a pro drug to modafinil. So adrenaline actually changes to modafinil um, and that's why it takes a bit longer to feel the effects. By the way guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. Now, what about the side effects? Well, based on my experience, uh, I tested this product for a while and my team tested it out as well. And what we found out is that, at least based on my experience, adrenal should be considered a safe supplement at least for the short-term use. Uh, we experienced no side effects, no headaches, no stomach issues, nothing like that. Um, so that was a really good thing. However, based on the studies we found and other reviews, you can, if you overdose it, or uh, potentially if you supplement for a longer period, you might suffer from headaches, migraines, um, you might have some stomach issues and that kind of side effect. So um, we definitely do not uh, recommend supplementing it for a longer period. Uh, because we do like research on that. Um, so you need to be careful here. You wanna stay on the safe side. Um, if you experience any side effects, do consult your doctor right away. Now, when it comes to the recommended dosage, the science is kind of unclear. Usually you're gonna find supplements like this one that contains about uh, 300 milligrams of adrenaline. Uh, then of course you can also find supplements with higher dosages. Um, now studies show that kind of the optimal daily dosage would be somewhere between 300 to 600 milligrams per day. Uh, of course, uh, we've seen cases of people um, taking a higher dosage up to 1,000 and 200 milligrams per day, but that is the absolute maximum dosage that, um, well, we wouldn't recommend anyway, but that we came across. Keep in mind, this is a potent supplement. It's not just a herb that doesn't really work, but it's a potent thing. Um, so you need to be on the safe side. Um, if you decide on supplementing it, based on the studies that we found, um, you should probably start with a bit lower dosage, um, like 300 milligrams per day, and then you can potentially increase it if necessary. But again, do your own research just to be on the safe side. Um, I cannot stress this enough. So um, based on my personal experience and experience of our team, we, we tested out for a while. And what we were able to notice uh, was we felt more focused and more alert. Uh, you can feel some kind of a mental boost to get after you take uh, like 300 to 600 milligrams per day. It's not as strong as modafinil, not even close to it, at least again, based on my experience. Uh, but you get an additional push that is noticeable 
um, and honestly, I was surprised by that, uh, but also, um, you know, I, I like the effect, so there is nothing uh, to add here. Um, of course, if I would take this on a daily basis, I would probably stack it with other effective and potent nootropics to get even more stronger effects, but just uh, considering the adrenal as a supplement on its own, yeah, I was able to feel the benefits and that was a good thing. However, this is one of those man-made supplements that um, are more like, you would probably take it more like now and then to cover the peaks, right? If you are studying or if you have some really advanced mental work to do, but it's not a daily nootropic, not even close to that. Um, so I would definitely not recommend it for that. So the final question is, um, do we recommend the uh, or not really? Um, well, it's kind of a hard to say. Uh, based on the status, we have mixed feelings. Uh, we got some benefits out of it. Uh, so we definitely do not recommend for long-term use. But if it's legal in your country, then of course you could take it now and then to cover the peaks. Um, so, but that's a new to decide on if you wanna go with synthetic nootropics or not. Uh, personally, I'm not a big fan of synthetic nootropics because I see nootropics as something that would provide me long-term edge, you know, long-term brain support, not just short-term kick. But yeah, if you wanna try it, um, you can find some links below. And um, yeah, go ahead, try it out and see how it works for you. Thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook, Instagram, subscribe to this channel, press the bell icon, and I hope to see you soon again. Take care.